Hey everybody, this is Infinite Drowse here saying welcome back to Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie. In the last episode, I uh, started off my adventures within Gobi's Valley and acquired the final move within the game, the running shoe. Whoa, 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 buddy. Careful there. Startled me. Bastard startled me. Yeah, kind of threw me for a loop. A looper. Yeah, whatever. Anyways, though, I got the new last ability in the entire game, which happens to be those speedy shoes, and I'll demonstrate that within today's episode, as well as go around and start collecting some more random stuff. But first of all, before doing anything else, I'm actually going to go all the way back over to the Sphinx and grab the flight, pa the, the flight pad, because I need to hit that thing, because I need to fly around this area. Yeah. Anyways, though, ooh, carefully, carefully, ooh, careful there, awesome. Flip, flap, jump, of course. Flip, flap, jump, of course. Flip, flap, jump. Not gonna say, of course, there, even though I just did. Damn it. Yeah, whatever. All right, so, let's see here. First thing of first I'm gonna do right here is I'm gonna fly through these rings. Come on, come on, there we go. Summon all the hidden rings of the ancients to beat the witch. Okay, that makes sense. But pretty much what we're gonna be doing right here around uh, the th hitting those rings and the people. I just gotta fly through rings. That's really it. <laughs> yeah. Just, that's... That's pretty much it. Um, yeah. I'm sorry if I'm, like, just seeming bored and disinterested. I'm just tired. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Eh, whatever. I just want to make as much leeway as I can throughout this episode without too much jibber-jabber slash tomfoolery. Let's see, I think if I fly through here, I'll be fine. Yeah. Oh, God. Here we go. Okay, one more. I think, I'm pretty sure there are, like, three. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is working in rules of three again, so... I'm hoping it's only three, if it's like four or five or seven. If it's seven, I'll be most annoyed, but if not, I'll, I don't think it'll be like seven. Better not be seven. Six, seven, eight. Okay. <sighs> okay, where's that one? That one's behind, uh, that one's behind the Sphinx, so. I screwed up. I'm, I'm, I'm impatient. <laughs> I'm lazy and impatient. Why, what a weird combination. Isn't that right, people? <sighs> God. Careful. Oh my god, okay. It's one thing when I can't even get the flight controls down. Oh my god. Yep, this makes sense. Okay. Ugh, god, come on. I forgot to hit record on my timer. I just realized that. Yep, hope you guys like long episodes. There we go, Jesus Christ. Oh god, another one? Oh, the exact same spot. Yep, that makes sense. That makes plenty of sense. Alright, well, hopefully I can... Okay, there. Woo! Okay. Shut the timer right before I hit the ground. That's nice. Okay. Oh, cool. I got a straight. I got a perfect straight route right here, just as long as I don't sneak right, sink, or dive too close to the bottom. Yeah, I think that's the last one. Only joking, mortal. We can only give you this. Wait, what? Oh, oh, they were tricking me into thinking that by flying through all the rings, they could. I would automatically beat the game. Yay, because I definitely knew that was going to happen. <laughs> Whatever, Jiggy number two, I'll take it. I'll take it in stride. Why not? In stride or hear you? Let's see, is there anything? I don't think there's anything important right here. Okay, a couple notes, but that's really it. Yeah, okay. Oh, by a couple, I mean five. Five is always nice. Five guys, burgers and fries. I'm really hungry. I need to stop thinking about food. There's a uh, magic carpet going to ride on that. Oh, bit skits, you son of a gun. Okay, whatever. Okay, whatever. Eh. I only took a little. I only took one bit of damage, so I'll take it. I, I won't be too upset. Um, let's see. Okay, I, I gotta fly through this. I gotta fly through this ring. Oh, I'm gonna maybe I can frequent trips back and forth between this uh, before between this Sphinx, aren't I? Yeah. Whatever. Flip flap. All right. So, now for this next part right here, what we got to do is we got to go... I think I get that. Oh, I completely missed it. I'm an imbecile. Okay, let's try that one again, eh? Yeah, this time we'll hit it. Boom. So, that what that will do is that will open up the uh, this entryway right here into uh, this pyramid. And in order to... Let's see here. <laughs> Nope, nope, okay, good, good. Made it in, made it in, I'll take it. Alright, now in this one... Oh, this one. 
This one is a. Uh, this room, yeah, this room is uh, is an interesting basket case to say the least. You'll still see soon enough. You'll see soon enough. But before before jumping onto that main pedestal, I'm just gonna grab these any excess notes that might might be around in this spot. So yeah, and then we'll witness probably something very very offensive. Hello there, my friend. I am Ruby. Can I be of some service to you? No. We're looking for some treasure, pipe boy. Very good. I see some up there. It's yours if you can get it, yes? Yeah, just, just listen to that voice again if you want to. I'm sorry if I just completely went all went all uh, Arabic if, on you, if you will, but yeah, it's a little bit racist. Just a wee bit. Probably very offensive, but anyways, though, pretty much what we gotta do here is uh, go ahead and fart some eggs, do a little putus. Do some putus nonsense. Gonna grab an Ikumbokum before I do anything else. And then what we're gonna do is just gonna fart and... God, come on, let's see if we can grab this. Yeah. Good news is that I can always just go up and grab these eggs, but what we gotta do is we gotta... Come on, why can't I just... Eh. Eh. Come on. I gotta... Well, what you gotta do is you gotta fart eggs in here, but it's... There we go. And what that will do is pretty much draw the snake's attention. Just gotta keep farting eggs in there. Eventually this ring will get faster and faster until you gotta like really perfectly time your farts, but let's see, I think I can get it. Ah, damn it. Okay, hold on. Damn it. Okay, hold on. I can get this. I hope. At the very least I can get some of it. Okay, I can get this. Just give me a second. That was just horribly timed. Why can't I do this? Oh my god, I suck. I'm sorry, guys. I might just fast forward. <laughs> there we go. Oh, cool. Ah, a thousand thanks, my friend. Istop, oh, my friend Istop will now help you with your quest. And now what this will do is, uh... We're going to do this. Yeah. The snake will go all elongated on you, rise up to the top, and allow you to gain access to this jiggy number three? Yeah, number three. It's pretty radical. Yeah. And he's going to just play his pipe and just talk to a snake and... I have this weird anteater creature right there, which I think actually makes appearance in Banjo Tooie, but I'm not entirely sure. Not entirely sure. Anyways, though, moving right along here because that one took me far too long. Just gonna mosey my way over here. That's gonna seal off, I believe. And uh, yeah, I might as well pick up the notes and alongside this area just for just for good measure. Why the why the hell not? Hey, come on, there we go. Okay. Okay, so let's see, what are we gonna do? We're gonna smash this one right here. Open up, uh, yeah, yep. Yeah. yeah, like half the, yeah, half, half the time gets wasted by just trying to get inside. Yeah, I'm gonna go in this pyramid now. Is this one, uh, no, this one is, what's this one? Is this the, do I have to solve a puzzle for this one? Yes, I do, that's right. Oh God, this one's a, this one's annoying. Pretty much you got this whole zombie fella here just following you around. Okay, let's see if I can figure this out. Okay, egg. Okay, Mumbo. Let's see here. Eh. Trying to figure out. Okay, here we go. Kazooie, Kazooie. Here we go. Kazooie. And then Kazooie, I think. Oh, fuck. Wrong one. Kazooie. Kazooie. Feather. Mumbo. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's the thing. It's a lot of trial and error for this one. God, you dirty bastard! Screw off! Yeah, mom, oh, crap, that's... Okay, that, that one I can get. Okay, that's Mumbo. And this one's Mumbo.
and I'm just having the worst luck with this right now, aren't I? Okay, well, I think I can get this, though. Oh, what do you know? They're right next to one another. There we go. Jesus. And with that, by completing that challenge, we can get cheeky number five. Sorry if I was quiet during that one. I was just trying to focus and remember and pay attention as to which ones were which, but... Yeah, okay. No, no, not, not, not dealing with you. You're a nuisance. Go away. Shut up again. All right, cool. That pyramid's done with. Awesome. So let's see here. Okay, carefully. I want to make sure I don't actually just fall over like a moron and keel. Because that would not be good. Okay, but uh, let's hear what we want to do now. Let's just carefully make our way over here. Ooh, carefully. Oh, this one's... Okay, this one's frustrating to do. Uh, what you gotta do is you gotta fire three eggs into this. It's the exact same thing you did uh, in the Sphinx that I showed off in the last episode. And pretty much what this guy's gonna do is that... um. He's gonna periodically jump between uh, each side of this structural column, I guess you could say. And what you gotta do is you just gotta go ahead and just fire off eggs into his mouth. Because why not? Because he's a hungry, hungry statue. Hungry, hungry statues. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, oh, oh. Carefully. That would be bad. Yeah, would have been bad. Yeah. There we go. Cool. Yeah, he's gonna just take his sweet time and just go dum dum dum. That's gonna raise up there, and then all I gotta do is just go one more on that side, and then I think I'll have successfully raised it if if the rule of threes is coinciding with this this whole puzzle, if you will. I think the trickiest thing is just trying to make the jumps. <laughs> oh, I'm dead. I'm so dead. Okay, no, I'm not. Woo, I'm okay. But I might just want to go grab some health real quick, so I'll just I'll just go back over to uh, where that. Yeah, I'll just go grab. Um, actually, is there health? I think there's I think there's a beehive right over here. Yeah, there is. Ugh. God. Yeah, the bees are gonna go a little ape shit on you if you knock it over, but don't worry, they'll eventually leave you alone after some time. Yeah. So make sure you don't go off into that and be stupid. Actually, can I just, can I? No, I don't think I can shoot. Yeah, because his mouth isn't open. Yeah, shoot, I can't do that. Yeah, come on, come on. Ooh, this one. Okay, there we go. There we go. He's gonna go nom nom nom. And the pyramid's gonna rise to the top. And then this will grant us a new entryway into another area. Megusta. Megusta. Okay then. Anyways, just moving. Gonna move my 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 bear my fur behind. Well, first of all, I'm gonna jump up here. And then I'm going to go grab this. And then I'm going to go up around here. Eh, eh, carefully. Eh, ooh, gonna grab that. And then I'm gonna go inside the pyramid. Because notes. Yes. Alright, and here we go. Now that this one, yeah. This is King Sandy Butt's tool. Turn back or face his wrath. Alright, now this one here is tricky. Because you all know where they have to go. You chose not to heed our warning. Prepare to run. Now pretty much what you gotta do here is you just gotta navigate this whole maze right here and make sure you do it in the allotted time. Otherwise, it's a death. Yeah. So just keep moving. Oh, what do you know? We're ironic on a, 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 a down a life. A um, oh, crap. That's not where I have to go. Um, a I don't even know what I just. I don't even know what I was gonna say because I lost my train of thought because I was preoccupied. Okay, this is what I gotta do. This is what I gotta do. This is actually not too difficult to navigate with. You know what you're doing. You just gotta make sure you're not like going to walls. Whatever. Anyways, though, we're safe. We're safe, don't worry. No, the bear survived. He's after King Ancient's relic. Alright, so pretty much what this will do is this is gonna open up there. We're gonna have entry yeah, we're gonna have access to yet another G, which is pretty cool. And then I don't know if you guys saw in the back in the way back there, but there's actually a uh, a Gruntilda switch we can hit. So I'm just gonna go ahead and grab and nail that. 
and I'll also explore some other portions of this area that I need to check out, and also grab this Jinjo here for the purple, because why not? So yeah, let's see, I'm just gonna move my way all the way back around here. Um, oh, oh, crap, it, oh, oh, shit, does that. Didn't realize it reset. Okay, I guess it resets every time you do it. Oh, well, time to be the freaking man. <laughs> well, at least I know how to get back, so it's not that, it's not that big of a deal. Um, all right. I guess there's only one exit in this area, so that's why I just do that. Oh, crap, okay. Should be safe. I hope. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. No, I am perfectly fine, yeah. So you just smash this. <laughs> and that opens up a jiggy. Cool story. Of course, though, we're still on a timer. Just a nice way to break up the tension of this intense situation that we might die in. If I manage to pull some stupid... If I manage to do something stupid, which I most likely could, knowing my foolishness in LPs. But, nope, I am perfectly fine. Thank goodness. Alright. Anyways, though. Gotta go through here, and, uh, I forget. Where does this lead me to? Does this lead me outside the tomb? Okay, yeah, it just leads me at the... Leads me at the rectum. <laughs> leads me at the rectum. That's what I'm gonna call the behind... Uh, the back entrances now, or the exits. The rectum. Anyways, though. I believe I've collected quite a few little trinkets in today's episode, so I believe I'm just going to end off today's episode here, and uh, then continue on exploring the remainder areas of Gobi's Valley next time on Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie. This is essentially Infinite Trials here saying, rate, comment, sub, peace out, Joe, and have a good one.